Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are all doing very well. Hope you all have been having a great weekend. I for one am in an amazing mood because it just feels like straight up summer outside today. So I have my windows open and getting some fresh air into my room. So it's just putting me in the best mood. So I don't know why I'm so late to the Amazon party, but recently, as in like the past two months or so, I have been buying a lot of stuff off of Amazon. And one day when I was on there looking for something totally different, I remembered that they have clothes on there. And I was like, you know what? I already buy so much stuff on here. I'd be curious to see what all of their clothes are like. So first I'll kind of just go through and show you guys everything that I got. And then I'll kind of go through and give you guys a more, I guess, in-depth review and like what I think about shopping for clothes on Amazon. So I did try and get just a little bit of everything just so I could like really get a good feel for all of their stuff. So the first thing that I got to try on was this plain black t-shirt except it has these kind of crisscrosses. I don't know how well you guys can see at the front of the shirt. The fabric is really nice. It is a bit skin tight so I don't think it's something that I'm personally going to keep but you know it's just kind of a good basic that I feel like a lot of people would like. I also have really been needing more leggings recently, so it's kind of been on my to-buy list for a while. So I was like, you know what, this is a great opportunity to look for some leggings. So, I mean, they kind of just look like a completely, you know, plain black pair of leggings. I will say though that these leggings are really, really freaking soft. I'll link everything down below so you guys can take a look, but seriously, I'm, I mean, they're the softest leggings I've ever tried on. I also feel like the biggest issue for me with leggings is that 99% of the leggings that I try on, I feel like it's kind of too sheer of a fabric where you can see my skin through it a little bit, which is not what I want. But I feel like these ones are actually pretty thick. Unfortunately, these are a little bit too big on me, which doesn't really work for leggings but I actually might exchange these and get them a size smaller because they really are that freaking comfortable. The next thing I got is this kind of off the shoulder dress. I've been really loving off the shoulder recently. And this was also just like a really, really pretty print. So this is what it looks like. Again, same with the leggings. This fabric is like ridiculously soft. Unfortunately, also same thing with the leggings. I feel like it was a little bit too big and baggy for me. Like it didn't really give me any shape at all. So didn't look great on me. So the next dress that I got is actually a BCBG dress. So they do carry like a lot of brands on there. So this is what it looks like. It is a pale pink dress, kind of has some little frills on it, a little bit more of like a V neck, um, although it kind of looks more dramatic of a cut than it actually looks like when it's on. Again, a really, really cute dress, but I just had issues with it not really fitting me very well like I have had with a lot of this stuff so fortunately this one will be a return but I think if you got it in the right size it's actually a beautiful dress. The next thing is this jacket it has long sleeves is a really thin material and it is really really long. This one fits nice the material is like pretty lightweight so I think that it'll be really good for like spring or colder nights in the summer. Um, I also really like the color of this I feel like I don't have any Kind of longer cardigans or jackets that are like this kind of coffee brown color so i think that this one will be a keeper so if you follow me on instagram then you will know that i was just in vegas which was absolutely amazing i had so much fun one thing that i was really really looking for before i went was some one-piece swimsuits i have a bunch of two-piece swimsuits but i don't actually have any one-piece swimsuits or at least i didn't um before i did this little amazon shop so i did get a few one-piece swimsuits to try on also which are pretty cute so i'm definitely want to show you guys those so this is the first one it has straps that you can remove if you want and then it kind of has this crochet design all the way through it's thick in the top and then a bit see-through in the middle and then has like a normal bottom. So this one's really, really cute. I feel like it's a good option if maybe you want like a one piece but still wanna show some skin. Next was this one piece, which again has a strap that you can remove if you want to. And then the top of it has like this really pretty kind of scalloped top. And then it has a cutout kind of between the top and your stomach section. And then the last swimsuit that I got, and this is actually the one that I did end up bringing to Vegas. Oh, it's actually kind of hard for me to show you guys now. It still smells like chlorine because I haven't washed it yet. So it looks like this. What I really like about it is it has these straps that crisscross at the top, almost like a halter neck. So this is the one that I ended up bringing with me to Vegas. And I wore this um, to a pool party one day, which was super fun. So this is 
you know, obviously my favorite since I picked it, but the other two are also really cute. Also for Vegas, I wanted to get a cover up to try on. Basically, it's just like this sheer white cover up. Unfortunately, like so many other things in this haul, it just didn't really fit me quite right. I'm pretty sure this one only had one size. So, you know, it didn't quite work, but it's still really pretty and I feel like it actually would look amazing on a lot of people. And then last but not least, I decided to get a pair of shoes to try on. So this is what they look like. They're just kind of a plain sandal with this sort of suede pink material. These were actually ridiculously uncomfortable, which is sad because they actually are really cute. So overall, as you guys can probably tell from this video so far, um, there was a lot of like cute items that I got, but a lot of it didn't really fit me correctly. So most of it I am going to be returning. As far as just like going through and shopping on Amazon, one thing that I really, really did like about it is that so many people are on there, so so many people leave reviews of the products, like definitely way more than I've, you know, seen on like ASOS or anything else. And even better, there's a lot of people that actually post reviews of themselves in the products, so you get a much better idea of what they look like, which actually came in handy a lot because I was looking at a lot more things than what I actually purchased, and so many of the items I decided not to get because I saw pictures of people on there that were like, you know what, this actually did not look anything like this sweater in this picture and like posted a picture of it and it was just like a totally different material or whatever. So that was definitely really helpful. Another good thing is that there's just a ton of stuff to choose from. But with that, I would say that it kind of took me a long time to find things that I wanted to get out of the huge amount of things to choose from. There was definitely some really, really cute items, but I feel like it took me a lot of, you know, like going through pages to find the few items that I thought were cute enough for me to want to try on. Another big perk of shopping with Amazon is that, you know, especially if you have Prime, like everything that I got was through Prime, so I got it all in two days, which is awesome. And I would say for like the price ranges, just like a lot of other websites like ASOS or whatever, you can kind of find stuff that is really cheap or you can find stuff that's pretty expensive. So it does have that range, which I think is nice also. So no matter what your budget is or, you know, your price point, you can definitely find something in each category within that price point. Overall, I feel like I would still stick to ASOS or a website like that when I just want to look for things in general and like just find some cute things without really knowing specifically what I want. I feel like Amazon might be better if it's like, okay, I want you know, a swimsuit and you can specifically look at swimsuits. They have so many and lots of different price points and, you know, you can look at people wearing them um, or like socks or, you know, just something like specific like that. But as far as just like wanting to browse for cute stuff, I probably won't be going back to Amazon for that. So that wraps up this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. I will link everything down below. So if you saw anything that you were like, oh, I would love that or I need that, feel free to find it below if it's still available. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.